yes students today we are going to discuss the equations of motion that is the equation of motion of an electron in an energy band and for this we uh, we take the motion of a wave package in an applied electric field how this electron moves in an energy band to uh, show uh, the motion we will consider the case of a motion of a wave packet uh, of electrons in an applied electric field and the wave packet you know it is made up of a wave function and it will be assembled over a, uh, around a near a particular wave vector k and uh, for a wave vector the group velocity vg is equal to d omega by dk and uh, omega you know it is equal to uh, a by h cross or epsilon is equal to h cross omega e is equal to h cross omega so from this omega is equal to e by h cross and group velocity is the d omega by dk that we already know now from this uh, we will take the value of vg in terms of energy so uh, vg is equal to d by dk of omega for omega you can substitute this equation so it is e by h cross so that will be equal to uh, h cross is a constant so h raised to h cross raised to minus 1 then and de by dk so the expression for vg is equal to h cross raised to minus 1 de divided by dk so that is the um, one of the expression for vg then uh, the effects on the crystal effects of the crystal on the motion of electron are contained in the dispersion relation e versus k so uh, how this electron moves in an uh, energy band that can be obtained from the uh, e versus k relationship of different cases and uh, next we are considering the work done on the electron by the electric field e on in the time interval delta t work done by an electric field and uh, next to another work done you know it is force into displacement so in this case force is equal to uh, it is equal to or work we can take it as energy and it is equal to force into displacement you can take it as velocity multiplied by time so in this case the force is electrical force so it is equal to e into e and uh, therefore uh, this uh, change in energy delta e is equal to uh, this minus e, e the charge is uh, this uh, e into e that is the force and then vg into t here the velocity is v, the group velocity into delta t then you can substitute uh, for different values that is delta e is equal to uh, then here uh, already we have delta e is uh, de by dk into delta k but de by dk from equation 1 from equation 1 we have uh, we have already seen that uh, vg is equal to h cross raised to minus 1 de by dk so this uh, de by dk is nothing but uh, uh, h cross into vg so it is h cross into vg is substituted here then into delta uh, t so one of the expression for delta e is minus e, e vg into delta t and another expression which we have got for delta e is h cross vg into delta k from this equation now you can compare the equations 2 and 3 from this uh, both are delta e therefore comparing these two expression we will get it as uh, delta k is equal to uh, this expression minus e, e vg delta t divided by this h cross vg that is uh, minus e, e vg delta t that will be equal to uh, this h cross vg delta k now comparing these two expression we will get uh, delta k as minus e, e vg delta t divided by this uh, uh, h cross so uh, that will be equal to delta k is equal to minus e e divided by h cross into delta t now from this equation uh, suppose we cross multiply this and take this delta t to this sides we get h cross dk by dt that will be equal to minus e into e that is equal to force so this is an important equation uh, uh, for the equations of motion of an electron in an energy band that is force is equal to in an electric field at is f is equal to h cross dk by dt so that expression you have to remember h cross dk by dt is equal to f now next uh, case is uh, in free electrons in a crystal uh, that is in a crystal dk by uh, dt h cross dk by dt is equal to f the external force on the electron in free space uh, f is equal to d by dt of mv 
that is the electron in the crystal is subject to force from the crystal lattice as well as from the external source in a free space but here if the electron is in an energy band so the expression for force is h cross dk by dt and now the force uh, defined by the equation 4 includes the electric force and the Lorentz force of an electron in a magnetic field so suppose uh, we include the magnetic force also then the equation of motion uh, of an electron in a group of in uh, of in group velocity v in a um, constant magnetic field v uh, b is given by so here the velocity is vg we have to write the uh, group velocity vg instead of v in a uh, constant magnetic field and so this electric force will be balanced by the magnetic lorentz force so we can write h cross dk by dt is equal to minus e into vg cross b that is a magnetic lorentz force is it is equal to q into v cross b so but vg is equal to i'm already heard the expression anna, that is equal to h cross raised to minus 1 de by dk therefore we have to substitute either in dk by dt is equal to dk by dt that is equal to um, from this equation minus e divided by h cross then for vg you can substitute the value h cross raised to minus 1 de by dk then cross b so that is the expression obtained here so substituting uh, from this equation simplifying this equation we will get minus e by h cross uh, here h raised to minus 1 so here go it goes to the denominator then becomes minus e by h cross square then de by dk cross b so that is the uh, rate of change of the wave vector that is in a magnetic field an electron moves in k space in a direction uh, normal to the direction of the gradient of the energy e uh, that is uh, and uh, so that the electron moves in a on a surface of constant energy so this uh, change in k will be perpendicular to both the de by dk and b so it will be move in a direction which is the gradient of energy that is de by dk uh, that this the electron moves on a surface of constant energy and the motion in k space is on a plane normal to the direction of b and the orbit defined by the intersection of this plane with a surface of constant energy so uh, in a magnetic field this electron will move in a direction uh, which is perpendicular to in k space we are considering it is it will move in a space uh, on a plane which is normal to the direction of b and also in an orbit which is defined by the intersection of this plane uh, the constant plane with the uh, with a surface of constant energy so that is about the equation of motion of an electron uh, in an energy band uh, by considering the case of uh, electric field only and the case of electric and magnetic force so the uh, expression which we have to remember is that uh, in the absence of elect uh, magnetic field the expression for the force on in, uh, this uh, uh, electron will be equal to h cross dk by dt is equal to f that is the uh, uh, important equation which we obtain from this uh, part okay